Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're going to be looking at Modern Masters John Byrne. Okay, so uh, this is a series from Two Morrows, or no, it's not, I'm sorry, it's from a, a Weathington publisher. Anyways, whatever. So it's uh, Modern Masters, and they cover like uh, comic book artists, uh, you know, that are really renowned from, I guess, uh, the past. I don't know. I mean, John Byrne, you know, he hit his uh, height of popularity probably in the 80s. So, you know, it's like they've had Alan Davis and Art Adams. And so I'm thinking that, but they've had as recent as like Cliff Chiang and, you know, whatever. So anyway, this is John Byrne. So this is the one we're going to be looking at. I'm a huge John Byrne fan. Anybody who watches this channel on a regular basis knows that. So... <clears throat> I believe uh, that this is one of the best modern masters. They do interviews and they show, um, okay, so it is Tomorrow's Publishing, forgive me. Anyways, if you guys don't have this and you're John Byrne fans, you need this. It has like, you know, commission work and uh, pencil art and interviews from Captain, or um, True Brit. That was a fun thing written by John Cleese from Monty Python and, um, it's cool, like a 1939 version of uh, uh, Batman and Superman. I like to see John Byrne draw in different styles to different eras. That's the man himself and his bearded glory. It's funny because he shares a birthday with my father. Um, not the same year, but, or no, maybe the same year. I don't know. Anyway, same day. And uh, he kind of looks like my dad with the beard. So I would like to think that perhaps I'm John Byrne's long lost son along the way somewhere. I don't know. Um, this is from John Byrne's tryout book on uh, for Fantastic Four. He was trying to do a Kirby style. And I think he nailed it. It's safe to say a 30 page tryout for Marvel Comics. Isn't that amazing? Like the years that I tried getting into Marvel Comics, which I think is tantamount to winning the lottery. Unless you're super talented or something or know somebody that's all coming out. It's uh, nepotism. Any job in comic books I've ever gotten is because I know someone. So I guess I'm guilty of it too. Um, Raj 2000, perhaps. John Byrne does draw a mean robot. Um, anyway, so it was always recommended that you send two to four pages of sequential work. They wanted to see that you could tell a story, include superheroes and real people and blah, blah, blah. And I go on and on and on about it, but I, you know, that's what makes John Byrne one of the best comic book artists um, of our generation, any generation, comic book history. I mean, he just always draws amazing, super heroic looking figures, but then he draws amazing normal looking people. I mean, Jack Kirby's New Gods here, Dark Side. How cool is that? I love John Byrne's take on the New Gods. It's an awesome shot of Batman right there. Superboy. Um, you know, I guess I'm probably preferential to John's stuff for Marvel. I mean, um, in case you guys didn't know, he's doing a fanfic of the X-Men right now. Basically, what would have happened had Jean Grey survived and um, it's available for free on his site, burnrobotics.com. I urge you to go support him. He's at the top of his game. The art looks amazing. So, I mean, it very is uh, a callback to his original run on the X-Men. Dare I say better? I don't know. It's amazing. I mean, the man is 70 years old. He shows no sign of slowing down whatsoever. His storytelling is on point. His figures look better than they have in years. His faces are classic John Byrne faces that I love. And the X-Men look how they should, just like this. Um, I'm a little over Phoenix right now. I feel like she is way too oversaturated. I mean, now she's even stomping on Thor's origin. So what the heck is that? Little She-Hulk there. I like that costume. Very uh, high thigh action going on. Captain America versus Iron Fist. Clearly, this is a commission. John Byrne made uh, a lot of his money doing commissions um, for the longest time when he got disillusioned with working for the big two. I believe he stated that he, you know, he didn't know the characters and they were just so unfamiliar and doing the commissions was kind of a way to 
you know, have no boundaries and be able to draw the characters that he knows and loves. So I do believe there are some commissions that he um, turned down. <clears throat> uh, like I believe he wouldn't do Legion of Superheroes um, and I think Alpha Flight for a while, which is a shame because, uh, I mean, Fetch is never going to happen. John Byrne's never going to be like, yeah, Alpha Flight's the bomb. I'm so happy I created them. They rock. They rule. That's just me talking all the time. I love Alpha Flight. They rock. They rule. They're so misused by the Marvel Universe. And they need to be the next big franchise like Guardians of the Galaxies. I mean, come on. If the Guardians of the Galaxies can happen... I think Alpha Flight deserves a shot, A. Eh? What's that, a boot? It's my uh, tip to Doug and Bob McKenzie uh, from SCTV. That's my best, the best Canadian you'll get out of me. So George Perez, Perez uh, inking John Byrne on Action Comics 600, very cool. Sorry, I digressed for a second there. Um, from the Hidden Years, another great series. I mean, there's very few runs on you know, comic books that Burn did that I don't like. I mean, I would say that there's none that I dislike. Um, you know, of course, I'm going to have favorites over the others. I mean, obviously, he shined on different projects. Generations kind of stands out as a great story. And once again, that's Burn having kind of free reign in an imaginary universe to do whatever he wanted. This is a great... Uh, Page. I think this is from the um, Hawkman issue that Byrne drew. Darkseid once again. Popping up in Snyder's cut. Like, it's so great to see Darkseid. He should have been the main villain all along. I mean, you're going to start out with Steppenwolf. So, I mean, I, didn't, I don't know if I'm just, like, brain dead or what, but... He, mean, he meant nothing to me, so I think Darkseid should have been the main push from the jump. Although Steppenwolf is looking kind of cool. But anyway, ooh, the Metal Men. John Byrne has such an affection for these sort of, like, classic superheroes. Self-portrait of John sitting as if he would have, like, models do that. That's kind of funny, though, right? Like, they're acting out an actual superhero fight. And it's funny because this is the attention to detail that John Byrne presents. And, like, um, I think this might be a tip of the hat to Norman Rockwell, obviously. But, like, if John Byrne were doing a self-portrait in a Rockwellian style. But I just want you to notice that the guys dressed as superhero and villain, respectively, um, are, like, sort of average Joes. And they're, like, normal. Although, I see, like, how he's standing on the stool and stuff. But then in the picture, he's, like, much more the muscular, like, sort of John Byrne heroic build. I just love little details like that. Just so you know. I don't know. This is from, I guess, his action comics run with Gail Simone. Not overly familiar with that. I need to probably get on that because uh, it did seem to have a lot of fun moments. Rampage, another great... John Byrne, strong woman. Early picture of Diana, looking very cool, very Super Friends-esque, which works for me. John Byrne um, has done, like, uh, cartoons sometimes. Uh, I think this is, this might be when he did Funky Winker Bean, or no. Or I don't know, maybe he penciled it and the guy inked it. I don't know, but whatever. So he's doing the Muppets. I mean, it's always fun to see John Byrne draw like cartoonish type characters. That was Bizarro from Man of Steel. That was a lot of fun. This is making me want to so read other Burn stuff. I love this uh, comprehensive look at his career. And of course, uh, I think he's lightened up in the past couple of years, but he sort of swore off interviews and comic book conventions for a while because uh, I don't, I think he felt like people kind of asked the same tired old questions and he said it all before, and there's certain things he doesn't like talking about, you know. Bit of a curmudgeon, but hey, I guess that's part of his charm. Who cares? I mean, I love his art. I could just get lost in this art forever and a day. I mean, he's been part of so many cool things. Just imagine Stan Lee creating the DC Universe, 
Robin by Stan Lee and John Byrne and inked by Terry Austin to boot. And um, how cool is that? I wasn't just trying to say about, by the way, I meant to boot. There's a uh, free, cause this was only materialized as like a portfolio piece for like the new DC universe, blah, blah, whatever. And it never happened, but you can see it sort of became next men. And I kind of am digging these weird, crazy designs. I would like to see what they were all about, the ones that weren't used. Anyway, oh, a page from my beloved Alpha Flight. I'm the biggest Alpha Flight fan. That's cool. John Byrne draws such a mean Red Sonia. No pun intended, but I really love his Red Sonia. I mean, a chainmail bikini. Sign me up, right? <laughs> Thank God my mom didn't let me wear whatever I wanted for Halloween when I was little. <laughs> I wouldn't have worn that, but. John Byrne Sketchbook Gallery. It's always fun to see John Byrne sketch sketches. He's very, I think he's like such a competent, like uh, prolific, uh, classic comic book artist that sometimes uh, he doesn't get enough credit for as much of an artist as he is. So it's kind of fun to see like, the sketches where he gets really heavy with the hatching and just artistic. It's a cool looking lizard. Very cool looking lizard. That's a very um, interesting pose for the wasp there. Some fun um, 80s uh, asymmetrical punk do women hairdos that John Byrne was so into in the 80s. The Savage She-Hulk. We're used to John Byrne drawing the sensational She-Hulk, so it's kind of fun to see her with her, you know, strategically ripped off sleeves and female version of Hulk incarnation there. See, I love seeing, like, the loose sketches that Byrne does. Like, I don't know, you know, he does... He adds realism to it, but there's definitely a cartoonish flair that has always appealed to me about his artwork and... And there, I said it. Very cool shot of, uh, from a portfolio, I think, of, uh, you know, iconic moments. And this is Alpha Flight and uh, the X-Men with Cyclops. <clears throat> Cyclops is getting the uh, close-up here. And there's Raj 2000, one of his first things. Classic X-Men cover. Supposedly, this is in Terry Austin's possession. He's saving it for, I don't know, a museum or rainy day fund or something. But, um, oh, there's a rare shot of Cloak and Dagger by John Byrne. I have to say, like, I'm not a huge fan of the way he draws Cloak for some reason. I much prefer Rick Leonardi, the classic Cloak and Dagger artist. Superman 2, love that cover. Superman 3, I think. He couldn't wait to introduce like Darkseid and the Jack Kirby new new um, God characters and Fourth World characters. Very cool shot of Alpha Flight. It's always fun when Wolverine's part of the mix. JSA pinup, Guardian. Great shot of Alpha Flight. They need to use that like on a on a. You should have used that for the Omnibus. That would have been cool. FF from the famous Sideways issue. 252 if you want to look it up. Classic, life-changing, homaged, often imitated, never duplicated. <laughs> I do love the way Byrne draws Captain America. He does have an association with the character from his run on with Roger Stern. Very cool Batman shot from Generations. I think Byrne had commented that he likes a smiling Batman, and I have to say, if John Byrne's drawing it, I like a smiling Batman, too. I like a smiling Wonder Woman. All DC characters lend themselves well to smiling, and that's kind of why the dark Snyderverse is kind of a little off-putting. But hey, that's a weird way to end this video. That was John Byrne, Modern Masters. This book is epic. Lots of great articles and interviews. You guys totally need to get this. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit like, and I will bring you some more content later. All right, thanks, guys.